Oh, so we've got five viewers. I'm trying to figure out how to let you guys join here. It should, um, I sent, I posted the link to the group as well. So it should let you join there. Give it a shot. Hello, everybody that's watching. Sorry, I'm a total amateur here. George says, so quiet. It's so quiet. Click on the link. See if it'll let you join. It should. Sorry, guys. Total pro job here. This is how I do things. The link doesn't look very good. Let's see if it works for anybody. Unlock the room. It's not locked. Room is not locked. Cole says no link. Let me try again. This has been removed. Okay, that's fine. I'll make a new one. Just post the link in the comments. Well, I would do that. Let's see. Oh, we got 12 viewers. Hi, everybody. We're trying to figure out how to open the room. I appreciate everybody uh, bearing with us here. Um, oh, let's see. All right, I am trying to figure out how I can access the comments. Let's see. <laughs> Cole says, why do we keep you around? I have no idea, Cole. That is a great question that I do not have an answer for. Let's see. I can see the comments. Uh, but I cannot see where I can respond to the comments. So let me see if I can do that um, somewhere else. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Nope. Nothing there. All right. <laughs> I'm failing miserably at this. Let's see. Copy. Yes, thank you. Oh, it looks like maybe somebody joined the room. It says people joined the room. We went from 12 viewers to six. Don't blame you guys. You have to open another browser tab to post a comment. Okay, I am trying to do that. Let's see. I'm just... Uh... 
having some difficulty finding that tab. Let's see if I can find that. This is what Bradley looks like widely searching on the Facebook page so he can respond to comments and post the link so people can join. What's interesting is I created the room, so I don't know that I can find the, I mean, I, I posted the link on the page. Um, let's see here. Hey, George, do me a favor. Um, will you actually just call me for a second and see if you can walk me through this? If you have a second, I know you, you've got company coming. Um, hi, Christina. I am clearly also a newbie, at least at getting a room set up so we can actually have a conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Caroline says, Jesus, Bradley. Yeah, I, 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 I feel your frustration and my deepest apologies that this is taking forever, but I'm trying. I'm trying to figure this out. Yo, yeah, I do need a hand. I'm struggling here. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I've tried to do, but I'm not finding the video. Well, I, I, you know what the problem might be? The problem might be that I did it as the, as the podcast instead of as myself. Hmm. Yes, I will do that right now. All right. Sounds great. Bye. All right, guys. George coming to the rescue. I'm sending him the link, and he is going to post it for me so people can actually join and we can actually talk. Because clearly I am inept. Let's see. All right, so hopefully George is able to post the link to the room here, and we can actually have people join, and we can actually have a conversation, which would be great. I love that you just said that in my voice. What did, oh, the Jesus Bradley? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Donna. Hey, I see George posted the link in the comments. So... Um, hopefully people are able to click on that and they can join the room. The room is not locked, so anybody that would like to join is welcome to join. 
Oh, there, look. It's Rachel. There's hey. Rachel. Hey. I'm pretty sure I posted the link in the comments below. So, people Yeah, can there's uh, Gabby joined. I see. I don't see Gabby. I see a wine. Yeah, I'm making a wine red. I didn't know I was going to join, join. Oh, you're making <laughs> banana bread? That's I am. Crazy. Oh, awesome. I want some banana bread. Banana bread is delicious. I know, you know right? Everybody likes banana bread, right? Hi, Rachel. Hi, Gabby. I'm coming to see you. That's what Jordan yeah. said. Uh, when When exactly? We don't know. She's there this weekend. They're hopefully getting an apartment this weekend. They have several to go look at. So um, we'll have dates, hopefully, when she gets back on Sunday or Monday, whenever she's coming back. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we're getting yeah. some stuff going on. We have Christina okay. joining. Christina Hayes. Hi. Hi. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Am I the first? Uh, well, we have George here. We have oh. Gabby. Gabby's making me banana bread. And, um, uh, and Christina, um, I don't introduce yourself. Um, I'm Christina Tin. I just, I just started joining groups, even though I've been like an avid, uh, the secret fan for forever. And well, yeah. so, what, like five years when Josh first posted the, did his first post. Yeah. On yeah. Unknown. Uh -huh. so, and, and, you know, now every time I go on vacation, I'm on the lookout. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I know the feeling. Maybe I can. Yeah. I that in somewhere maybe that has something to do with it and so but i've learned so much from just doing the research just in histories and and it's amazing but i do live in canada but i'm a dual citizen i'm american oh. and canadian so oh, born awesome. in the United states an american mother canadian father and just kind of lived both places but i married a canadian so well that's super was, cool yeah where do you where do you live in, in Canada? Like not not like not like what's your address? But like where what area of Canada? But we're from um, yeah. Oh, I loved metal detect and magnet fish. Um, I'm our family's originally from Newfoundland, so I have a lot of family still out in Newfoundland. So I'm always talking to them too, and I you know sending my brother down on. Listen, I need you to go check this out for me. <laughs> so, can you take a picture of this for me and send it to me? That's awesome. I, I have to say, as an American who was educated in American schools, I have no idea where Newfoundland is. <laughs> but it sounds awesome. I was off the coast. Maine, New York, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland. Yeah. Do you do you find much metal detecting? Because like I I got really into I was watching YouTube videos of metal detectors like a nerd, and uh, I got super into it and I bought a metal detector like years ago and I can't figure out it's a Garrett AT Pro and I spent like six hundred dollars on it I can't figure out how to use it. <laughs> I I just ordered a new metal detector because mine broke. Oh. I was gonna get uh -huh. the Garrett. Because Garrett is like the best name brand detector that they have. <laughs> yeah. And you don't even know how to use it. I don't even know how to use it. I like, yeah. I had to watch a lot of videos before I learned how to use I had the Discovery 1100. Yep. And it was yeah. Fun. But we, I, it worked really well. But everything I found was bobby pins. A lot of bobby pins and mm -hmm. nails. And just, yeah. Nice. I, think we, I found, what, I found that. I found a nickel and I found a shotgun shell. See, I bought mine because I because I live in St. Augustine, so I wanted to metal detect on the beach, and uh -huh. I was like, "Oh, that'll be great because it's like top of the line metal detector." And then I found out like it sucks around salt water, like it just doesn't work, and everywhere here is just salt water, oh. so it's practically useless. Or I'm an idiot and don't know what I'm doing. One of the two. I think it's the second one. It's probably the second one. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever watched um, Oak Island? Uh huh. Uh, I have. I'm, you know, I haven't watched book, much Oak Island. That's a good treasure. But uh, they have uh, Gary Drayton, and he uh, he's a metal detector guy, and he amazing. He's got some. Yeah, gear. Guy, like, what world class metal detector. Him. 
I I, I nice. saw him. I saw him on a couple of different shows. He um he was metal detecting like in a river on some show. They were like siphoning the like the dirt from the bottom of the river and then metal detecting through it, fighting stuff. It was it, that dude's amazing. Like yeah. he travels all over the world. And people hire him to find stuff. Uh, so I can't hear. What's that? No. I think Aaron Drayton found a huge treasure in Florida. He did, yeah. He found like a, a Spanish ring worth like a ton of money. Yeah, like three quarter million dollar yeah. treasure. What? Right. George, learn how to work that metal design. No, right. So there's this guy in St. Augustine. We we have this river we have this river called the Matanzas River, and what it is is it's it's the Matanzas is like it's I think it's a Spanish word for massacre, and it's where I think it's the Spanish massacred a bunch of French soldiers, right? And when they killed them, they just left them on the shore and they left all of their, everything in their pockets, all of their jewelry and all of this stuff. And there's one metal detectorist in town that's found this location and he keeps pulling up like huge coins and giant, like, like French crosses with, you know, gems and like amazing stuff. And nobody knows where he's going. Like he's going somewhere on this river and nobody knows where it is. Oh. Nice. So, so, yeah. Being followed. Anyway. Hey, Tim. Honey, Caroline just text. Let's see, we got hey, Tim. Everyone. I just thought I would uh, dip in here and see what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. Introduce yourself, Tim. Hi. <laughs> well, um, I, my name is Tim Robel. Uh, my brother is Bob Robel. You might know that name. Uh, I'm here in Chicago, and... Um, when we were kids, we found the first treasure. So I've been kind of dipping into some of these chat groups and uh, looking at posts. I find it fascinating because yes. at, at 54 years old, I would never be able to find a treasure that I found when I was 16. So. <laughs> so, so Tim, funny story. Me and Bradley uh, went to Milwaukee recently and had a couple of beers with your brother. Yeah. And yeah. Learned something, we learned something about Rob. He What's will that? fit with anything that moves. <laughs> like he my entire life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Starting with the bartenders, the waitress, the little old ladies that walked out of the bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he was like full on flirting. Great yeah. guy. He can't, help, he can't help himself. I told him he should go into sales. Yeah, he is a ladies' man. He is a great salesperson. He really is. Oh, absolutely. So, Tim, you were um, you were part of the group that that found the uh, the Chicago cast, right? Yes, me and Gaz and DJ. Um, I, we were we were high schoolers, right? And uh, yeah, it's funny. I, I I've just recently told this story to some of my coworkers because I I really don't think about it. I mean, it just ha happened so long ago, and it's funny when I mention it. They're like, "You're a modern day Goonie. Why didn't you tell me the story?" I said, "Well." I, I, I don't know. So I, I dug up a whole bunch of clippings and I sent them pictures of stuff that I have. And they were like, oh, now, we, now we're now we totally sucked in. We, we got to know more. So it, it's kind of funny to see it kind of come full circle. And it is a mystery, you know, since Byron's gone and nothing, nothing's saved. So it, it's it's really a, 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 a crazy hunt because there's no, no nothing written down anywhere. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, every time we speak to somebody that was part of your crew that found the Chicago um, cast, they tell a story and everybody tells it just slightly differently. So would you do me a huge favor? Will you tell me the story from your perspective? So when we found it, that, that story or the 10,000 stories that led up to it? Uh, Man, we got all well, like 10,000. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so yes, yeah, me, my brother, Bob, my buddy Dan, uh, DJ was there, and I think Gazarowski was. We were all there, and so, you know, we had we had dug up a lot of holes, right? It was just like, come on, we got to be right on top of this thing. And uh, finally, uh, we we kind of given up because where we dug a hole, we hit the foundation of the bridge that's right behind the Art Institute. And my buddy Dan, Danny, was in the hole at the time digging, and he, he was kind of a short, stocky kind of guy, and. He was um, struggling to get up out of the hole, and he kicks the side of the wall uh, in the in the hole, and the dirt falls away. And you know, oh, oh there's the there's the cask uh, in the acrylic box, just as prophesized. And uh, we just, of course, we went nuts, and you know, we dig it out of there, and 
we we pile into my brother's shitty 72 vega and uh we uh we go home we're in two cars i can't remember which car i was in but we like my buddy in the car in front of us they were jumping up and down the car was shaking and cops come up behind us because they thought we were up to no good and you know we tried to explain them what had happened of course cops not buying it but we didn't really do anything wrong so of course he lets us on our way and so that was the summer of you know fame and fortune our 15 minutes of fame uh there was a whole media junket right um i wasn't able to to make it i i had planned a trip to the east coast but uh you know made the rounds on channel seven channel nine channel two whatever and uh yeah it was just it was just an exciting time and uh and my brother he's got a task and uh you know every now and then he'll he'll take it out and we'll rehash old war stories but i don't know it was great it was crazy it was a lot of fun and um i don't know it was just fascinating I, I would give anything to find out where these other treasures are and uh god god bless you guys for keeping it alive so hopefully that was pretty close to everybody's story but <laughs> I didn't hear about the cops before, so I like that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, we were like jumping, the whole car was rocking, and you know, we're yelling and screaming, and of course the cops like, this, 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 these kids are up to no good, and you know, we had a bunch of shovels in the car, you know, and this, and this crazy cask, so, I mean, like I said, it's not like we were, we were holding or anything, it was just sort of like, being rowdy teenagers so but uh yeah it, it was it was crazy and so i i enjoy seeing all the chatter and and people trying to solve and um god i hope they're found yep. so in in bob's story i'm gonna call rob, bob from now on he's for, he's forever bob as far as i'm concerned now um so in bob's story um the person with the shovel gets fed up and they throw the shovel in the hole and that's what made the dirt fall yeah, he, so you're saying he kicked it yeah, he kind of, yeah, he's getting out of it, and he kind of I like that better. It. Like, I give up because we've dug all these holes. Yeah, and uh, you know, and the and so, like an inch of, of dirt comes off of, off the wall, and there it is. I, I love the so, fact. That he, yeah, that was, the hole is so big that he fits in the hole, and he's able to just like kick the wall. Right. <laughs> well, you know, awesome. looking back, living living here in Chicago, especially, it's like. Looking back at a bunch of snot-nosed kids with shovels and pickaxes walking around in parking garages, like never once did anyone stop us. Like no one ever said, "Hey, what are you doing with that?" Like, so I mean, you can't walk outside your dog your door without like you know, pick up your dog poop and someone's on you, right? So right. Yeah. So so Let's tell us. Um, your, go ahead. I don't ahead, know your, about all of Canada, but here in Ontario. Uh, you were allowed to dig in a park as long as you fill back in the hole. Okay, yeah. And everybody, yeah. Hey, if you're not talking, uh, make sure that you mute for us just because we're getting some feedback somewhere. Um, but uh, me? I don't know, but that's okay. Um, so uh, Tim, tell so tell us the story leading up to it. So that's um, the, yeah. The, the exciting part um, that I really like to hear when uh, people are doing treasure hunts is how did you get there? Like the, the, the small stories that uh, led up to you guys actually getting to the hole. Yeah, you know, so it was what I was, uh, was it the winter of 83? So was I a junior or something like that? And my, my brother, we, we, of course, we were nerds, right? We, we played Dungeons and Dragons. So we, we kind of got into that stuff. And my my brother bought this book called The Secret. I remember that up on LaGrange Road right here in LaGrange, I remember he went and got it and I gave it to DJ for uh, for Christmas. And we would sit around the lunch table uh, for, for months. I mean, we kind of started, I want to say it was that December, January, right? Because it was Christmas time. The ground was still frozen. There, it was still cold out. And we would sit around and our lunch period was maybe what? 24 minutes or 26 minutes or something like that so you know we all had copies and we we're all taking notes in it and you know we're trying to solve for clues and you know usually if our schedules allowed for it if someone wasn't working or whatever we would uh scrape up money get some gas and, and jump in the car and we would head downtown i don't know how many times we actually went downtown when we had enough material um but yeah, it was just it was just fun. You know, we'd park underground at the lower a lower level Grant Park parking garage, and 
we grab all of our shovels and pickaxes and our book and you know we would just be in our own little zone walking around just walking around the the, the park doing the the puzzle and of course he he my brother has rede has self redeemed himself because he uh, i remember I, I gave him such a hard time because he never mentioned when he was interviewed on the news he never mentioned that the end of 10 by 13 is your clue fence and picture like that was my clue that i figured out like that was the last one so he, he has gone overboard to make sure it be known that uh you know that was my clue but uh i remember just walking around just plotting all these separate holes and you know coming up empty-handed i think our parents were like hey as long as they're out of the house they could be into worse things right but <laughs> they're digging for treasure I'm like okay but uh yeah it, it, again it was just uh, just a fun time i mean we didn't have we didn't have the internet we didn't have the google machine right it was all just our nerd like D, &D education uh right that that helped us but uh you know it was definitely a group effort there were what five of us six of us did you have to do a role for perception? A what? <laughs> it's a D&D &D joke. Is that a D&D &D reference? Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Oh, yeah, I, I totally <laughs> forgot about that. No, that's no biggie. Uh, I, I, it's very often that I think I'm funny and I'm the only one that thinks it, and that's okay. <laughs> um so you know there's there's often conjecture about the the last clue uh, about that that step the end of um what was it 10 by 13 um and fixing fence and fixture um how did you how did you have that um uh, as a as a solve what what did you have as the fence and fixture you know um it, it's funny because i would say they did all the heavy lifting with the other stuff because they they were tighter my brother's two years older than me and so I wasn't exactly in his circle of friends. So he and DJ were pretty close. Um, but the t at the ten of, at the end of 10 by 13, you know, if you were going to Grant Park at that time, if you just stopped and looked around, you would notice that it's a perfect grid of trees. It's, it's just a dot matrix printer of trees there. And um, we, we kind of knew the general area. Oh no, Tim, you froze. Since covered over, but it, it's, Oh no, am I there? Am I there? Am I back? Any better? Yeah, you're you're back now. Um, you froze a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, at that time, uh, there, right behind the Art Institute along the bridge, if you were to see the trees at the time, it was like a dot matrix printer of of trees. It was like a perfect grid of these trees, and I think my brother, they were doing like. 10 by 13 130 degrees that type of like shooting azimuth off of the uh, lincoln statue that was right there and i just thought well wait wait a minute maybe it's these 10 trees by these 13 trees and so uh and, and i remember that we were really on to something because i think my brother dj contacted byron at the time and he said well i don't understand because you guys are right on top of it you, i mean you're right there i don't understand so um you know, in the 11th, there was some back and forth because I know we got in touch with his office and uh, I guess the secretary never gave him the message. And so we thought, well, maybe maybe this isn't it. And uh, but we were really convinced this is it. We solved all the others. And um, then he was gracious enough to, uh, you know, send us a, a picture of where it was buried. And we were right on top of it, which explains why there was just a little bit of dirt on the wall. We were digging like maybe one degree away from it. So. Um, yeah just unreal unreal um but a lot of laughs a lot, lot of fun and um yeah long live the goonies oh absolutely that that's um that's what i think every kid's dream is is to have a goonies moment and that's awesome that yeah. you guys had that <laughs> yeah yeah um let's see we have uh jonathan joined the chat i don't know jonathan um but he's muted jonathan did you want to um partake in the conversation or were you just kind of joining so you could listen i'm gonna guess that he you're muted if you don't know you're muted jonathan he says just listening okay um jonathan i'm gonna just take you off of the um the the view then you can keep listening um but this way uh, it'll clear up some space some real estate uh, for the people that are in um 
There we go. Awesome. So what I wanted to do tonight, that these are always very fluid. We always um, talk about pretty much anything anybody wants to talk about. So this is uh, by no means um, a rule. But the, the main thing I wanted to share tonight is just anybody that wanted to join. I just wanted to bring some positivity into the community. And um, I had a really awesome moment tonight. Um, so I, I work for a, um, a health department in a local county. And uh, every once in a while, we're blessed and people just bring us food. Um, they're, they're like, thank you for what you do. And somebody had um, a Chick-fil-A catered to the health department today. And so Chick-fil-A showed up with like duffel bags full of like boxed meals. Um, and I was like, man, that's really, really awesome. Um, we ended up with like 12 extra meals at the end of the day. So I took this duffel bag of food, hopped in my car, drove to the closest big town where there's a big homeless population and just drove around and found people and it's like giving people food. And like, you know, you could just see the you know, smiles on their faces, how like, you know, just really, really brightened up their day. And it just really made my month to be perfectly honest. Um, and it just got me thinking um, in, in the secret uh, let me see. Let me share my. Um, I know I can do the share screen. There we go. And window tab. Let's see if it'll let me. Mm. Okay, it's not going to let me. But in the secret, we all know uh, that on page 32 ish, I think it is, um, is the line um, talking about. Uh, in our land, in our time, the fair people and their treasures yet wait to be discovered. If a man is good and kind and playful, he and she will find them. That is the secret. Uh, and I always just really love that line because, um, you know, it just tells us, you know, just be good, be kind. And I know there's a lot of stories in this community where somebody has just gone out of their way to do something nice for somebody else in the community. Um, and I just want those stories to be out there um, and just bring some positivity into the community tonight. So if anybody has a story that they would like to share, um, I would love for you guys to join in and, and tell that story. Um, even if it's just, um, you know, something simple that you don't think is, is a big deal, um, you know, it, you never know what, what makes somebody else smile. Um, so I'll start. Um, when I first got into this community, um, I, I'm an EU baby. Um, that's what uh, we typically call ourselves if uh, we didn't know about this until we uh, saw the uh, the uh, Expedition Unknown. Uh, so I'm an EU baby. I got into it from Expedition Unknown, and then I discovered that there was a podcast, uh, George and JM. Um, got excited about that, and then um, ended up getting to meet George personally. And then um, we decided to meet up, and on our, our second time uh, meeting up, George – brought um, an original copy of The Secret. Now, if you guys don't know, the original copy of The Secret sells for like, at this point, thousands of dollars, which is ridiculous. Um, and George, no hesitation whatsoever. He's like, hey, I know you're you know really excited about this. I love that you're getting into the hunt. How would you like to borrow my copy of the original? Um, take it back to your hotel room, read through it. I'll pick it up from you tomorrow. And I was like, mind blown. You have no idea how excited I was. Um, I, I was nervous cause you know, I'm holding this book that I know is worth a ridiculous amount of money, but just, you know, it's so rare and it's just so treasured. Um, and so I'm sitting there in my hotel room, like carefully, uh, changing the pages, looking through the book. And it was just, it was, uh, it, it, it made, it made my summer, um, just being able to do that. And, you know, uh, the, he could have very easily been like, well, here, I'll turn the pages for you. Look at my book. Um, or he didn't have to bring it at all. Um, so, you know, just, it just, it was a small gesture, um, but it just made, made my summer. Um, Did you so have I, on um, white butler gloves while you were doing it? Um, I, I, I didn't have white gloves, but I was being super, super careful. <laughs> it was ridiculous how careful I was with this book. Thinking back on it, it was quite ridiculous, like how, how careful I was with the book. <laughs> um, and then um, eventually uh, he helped me get my own first copy. And now I have a copy. Um, and he's helped lots of people get copies. Um, and so, you know, just that graciousness that he's shown to myself and to the community, I'm very grateful for. Um, Nick, uh, Caroline, do you guys have a story you want to share? Well, I'm, I'm going to probably bounce around in like three different directions right now. But feeding off of your story with holding George Ward's original book, the first meetup that we had in San Francisco, which in itself was amazing to have that many people get together from all parts of the country. Like when – 
Sparks and the and the reporter that were there were like, you guys flew in from Jersey just to be at this meetup in San Francisco. And we we're like, uh, yeah, we basically dropped our entire weekend to do this. But Matt Sparks with his 40 year old original book that he's obviously had since the book came out and he's showing us all of these pictures and he's got scribbles in his book and he's got highlighters in his book and pages are just falling out as he's thumbing through all of these books. And, and Caroline and I are just sitting there like, that's an original copy <laughs> that you have folded in your back pocket. And he's like, yeah, I have like a couple of them. And we pull out the 2012 or 14 reprint or whatever. And he's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> We're like, that's the book we have. And we cherish it like it's gold, <laughs> like you should be doing with that original book. Um, but I mean, everything that, that this community has done on a whole, as far as getting people together, like these meetups and doing these podcasts and doing these live streams where everybody's just sh shooting from the hip and, and able to talk like a human being and, and have and share this same love and passion and interest for something that, yeah, we're a bunch of freaks and geeks and dorks and whatever you want to call us, but we love what we're doing and we're having so much fun doing it. And I don't know, like, I, I, I don't know where else to go, but every experience that I've had with this community and every hunt that we've been on where we've just been able to say, to our boss, hey, uh, by the way, we're leaving for two weeks to go to uh, whatever city. And they're like, well, what are you doing down there? We're like, I don't know, meeting up with a bunch of strangers that we've only talked to on the internet. Might get killed, might find a treasure, who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know, you know, my favorite thing about like hearing Tim's story and then hearing Rob's story is we all wanna hear about when they found the treasure, right? We all, we all wanna know like, hey Tim, how did it feel to pull that cask out of the ground? But what they always focus on is like, this is what me and my friends did, you know? Yeah. It's like, this is an event me and my friends had in our lives. And it's a story that we'll be able to share with people for the rest of our lives. Like a, a memory and experience you can't buy. And right. me, like that's, that's the best thing that the secrets bought, brought. Like it's not the treasure, it's not the death. Like who cares about that, right? It's the people and the experiences you get to meet and the feelings you get to have with them. Like, like dude, me, me, Nick, Caroline, Rachel, we're all walking down uh, Bourbon Street at like three o'clock. <laughs> Having the time of our lives. I don't even know where we were. <laughs> we went to a bar that rotated. Yeah, the, the carousel bar for Rachel. For the grocery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a gross drink with nutmeg. Like... <laughs> the, the curry drink with... The... <laughs> There's a book that came out like 40 years ago. Yeah. To me, is the most, it, it's the, the greatest thing that this book has brought to the world. It's not the treasures. It's not the hunt. It's those memories, right? Yeah. Right. right. It's finding yeah. a girl in New Orleans <laughs> complaining about it, it, If I could quote the great Bill Murray in Stripes, it's the stories you tell. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's the, the cask. I don't know if Bob ever told you this, but... You know, he lived in Riverside for a period of time, and his roommate was some sort of crackhead. I don't know what he was, but you know, the, the first, the original emerald, it was lost, and I, we're all convinced that this guy stole it from for drug money, right? But Bob's like, "Oh, he would never do that." I'm like, "Oh, a drug addict wouldn't steal from you." Okay. Uh, <laughs> he just he just borrowed it. He oh, borrowed man. it. But but to your point, it's not about the cask or the value of the emerald. Quite frankly, it was kind of a crappy emerald. It was really cloudy. It's not like it's, you know, it priceless. But um, again, I tell the story at, at corporate meetings and um, on calls and people are just sucked into it because the kid and every one of us, you know, who didn't like pretend, want to find a buried treasure, right? Right. I mean, so... Yeah. But um, hey, listen, guys, my dog needs to run out. I just wanted to dip in here and say a quick hello. It's it's again, keep the dream alive. And we you know, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I'm glad you so much, Tim. We appreciate you joining, man. And then absolutely, we'll Thank see you in the in the chats. Yeah. Can, can I take an opportunity to ask a question, man? Absolutely. We uh, it's, it's completely unrelated to this, but Bradley yeah. and I have the podcast, and we'd love to get you on an episode to talk for a little bit. Should you be sure? In absolutely. I'll see you when you get run. Like it'd be good to have both you and Rob and maybe maybe Eric. Try to get Eric. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know, it's funny because last last year or 2019, yeah, 2019, the fall, that's when um, they did that special in New York. Yeah. And uh, ironically, I was in New York the very same time, but I, I couldn't get away because I didn't really know. It happened kind of quickly. The only time I saw my brother, we met up in LaGuardia and we were flying home. And so I, I, I wasn't able to sneak away over to the, because I, I guess the whole gang was there, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the last time, you know, but, but I'd love to, you know, get in touch with me. Sure. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll reach out. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really cool. All right, cool. guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for taking Thanks, time. Man. All right, you bet. Um, talking about uh, the stories, um, another time George and I met up, he was also, he was doing another hunt as well at the time. I don't even remember the, the name of the hunt or anything, but um, it, you guys were talking about metal detecting earlier. I've never had the opportunity to metal detect. I've never had the opportunity to do anything like that. Um, and George was like, well, you know, I brought a metal detector. Um, I got this spot I want to check out. And I was like, well, I mean, do you, and we weren't like, you know, friends or anything at this point. We we're just total acquaintances. And I was like, do you, do you, do you mind if I join you? Um, he's like, I mean, if you want to, it's going to be raining. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, in the yeah, beginning of the bromance started. Uh, and so we we were out this park um, for, God, it, it felt like to me like two or three hours. So we weren't there that long, but it felt like that long. And it was just pouring down rain. And I'm just watching in awe as George was like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> walking around the park trying to find this treasure and uh like the, the, the child and he was like this is so awesome that was, <laughs> it was uh what's the guy that's like treasure man h charles beale or whatever oh, his no, treasure yeah. and like he had one in north carolina and the spot was so perfect i actually emailed him that night and i was like here's the spot that we got here's the reason that we were there and he, I was like, I can't find anything. And he's like, it's not there. But if I had known about that spot, it would be like, he's like, that's perfect. I didn't even know it was there. It was yeah. great. It was fun. And I'm sure like everybody that drove by us was like, what are these crazy people doing in the rain in this park? <laughs> uh, but I had the time of my life. It was awesome. Uh, that's, Chris, that's, what I, that's what I feel like every time we go to one of these cities and meet up with some or of the people that we know or meeting new people at the same time it's it's awesome like it's not just taking a vacation to go sit on a beach somewhere especially with covid like it's it's been a thing but like we're actually going to cities that we've researched so much that like there's certain cities i know that you guys like that you just like completely put yourself into a city that you could actually be like a travel guide to the city because you know where everything is and you've never been there before but you could do it you know just just from research and stuff and, and it's amazing to actually go there and physically be there you know like it's it's beyond words yeah absolutely uh, christina you're muted i uh, i didn't know if you were trying to talk to us or not i saw you talking oh yeah no i was when you were talking about the the metal detecting every time i've ever gone metal detecting complete strangers come up to us and they're like oh have you found anything you know what are you doing oh that's so cool you know how long have you been doing this and you know i still consider myself an amateur because you know i taught myself so <laughs> we're know. all amateurs yeah just tell them just tell them you found a uh, top pocket bobby bobby yeah. dazzler <laughs> <laughs> uh, who was it that um, put Treasure Hunter on their business card? Somebody put Treasure Hunter on it. Was it Andy? I think it was Andy. Yeah, he. Um, and, uh, somebody said I don't have business cards, so it wasn't me. Uh, and he was told, "Well, you can't have Treasure Hunter and uh, your actual job on there." So he's like, "Well, I'll just have Treasure Hunter <laughs> <laughs> instead of lawyer." Yeah. <laughs> Can you put Esquire after Treasure Hunter? <laughs> of course. Um, uh, Nick and Caroline, um, I'm, I'm, most people know who you guys are, but a couple of people are asking me who you guys are. Will you introduce yourselves to the community again? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm Nicholas Canock. This is my wife, Caroline Ewan. Uh, we are born and raised pretty much Jersey people, but have done a lot of dabbling in, in most of 
the secret hunt. Uh, obviously, New York being our closest, you're pulling me away. Okay. Um, has been one of our uh, first loves. Um, I would say through meeting a lot of people and chatting online with a lot of other people in the hunt, as well as doing what we would call side puzzles to, to keep our minds fresh and ciphers and rebuses and stuff. We kind of got into learning to decode. Um, probably got into San Francisco as one of our second hunts. Uh, we spent a few months with our group on that one. Gab, uh, obviously part of that. I see you on the side there, Gab. Hi, baby. Um, you know, then the tribute came out. We spent a lot of time on that one and still are spending time on that. Uh, we've been to, because of this, San Francisco. Uh, we just got our new business cards in. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> we've been to San Francisco, New Orleans, Charleston, uh, a lot of time in New York. Uh, are willing to listen to a lot of ideas and talk and really just want to see the hunt progress. And, you know, I try to stay out of the world of Facebook as far as a lot of the hunt goes, because I don't like to see the negativity. I'll comment when I have to, I'll post when I have to, but I like to kind of keep to my group of friends. Um, what do you want to say? That's it. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I mean, but it's great. Like, it's it's amazing that, you know, we've got Missouri, we've got Virginia, North Carolina, Florida, you know. Mizzou in the house. I'm going to shout out Cole May <laughs> from Alberta, Canada, who I talk to probably once a day with new ideas or, or stuff. And him and I are working on a Charleston solve, which might might give you guys a run. Oh, I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. <laughs> if you need to see yeah. going down when we can check it out, I'm happy to do it. I, I will keep you guys posted, but I, I'm just, you know, if, and I, we say it all the time and I'm, I'm proud to be an EU baby and I wouldn't have pictured myself three and a half years ago, sitting down on my couch, reading a 40 year old book or jumping on my computer to find out history of a city that's been around for three, four 500 years and actually be interested and, and never want to go to, or would never have planned to gone to unless this because of this happened right like yeah san francisco is great california is great but we went there because of this treasure hunt and i would love to go back again because of that charleston was amazing new orleans was amazing like i'm looking forward to at any point in the rest of my life visiting every single city every possible cast city whether it was dug up or not just to both see the history of a cast that was dug up and see the history of a cast that might still be buried somewhere well it's, and, it's we ever come out of lockdown in the New York way, I'm just across the border, like just across the border. So we could be in, obviously like our schedules are, are just as crap because of everything going on, but yeah. most parts of New York, we could be in, and see in about a half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, same here. Well, one of the great things, you know, Nick and Caroline, um, I've met up with them now in Louisville. New Orleans and Charleston. Yep. And my girl. What one of the things that we talk about all the time is how fortunate that we are that we have made the friendships that we have through this. And George was actually a pivotal part of us connecting. Yes, uh, yes, you're George. You said his name. There he is. <laughs> there Jesus. he is. We didn't say it three times though. Oh. <laughs> well, George, was I thought he was going dinner. He he did a puzzle thing. Um, gosh, it was right after I think I joined in February, and I think he started this in April or something. Anymore. And he was going to give away an original book, uh -huh. a blueprint, and a copy of um, Kit Williams' Masquerade. Masquerade. Yes. And what he encouraged everybody to do was to group up, do this as teams, work offline, and you know, and each one of them. It started off, and we didn't know the pattern, but it ended up being all twelve cities. And at one point in time, George um, relinquished it over to this anonymous person named Six. That's we still don't have a clue who it is. Um, He's a good it dude. Cypher. It was what? He's a good dude. I heard you. Yeah. 
I, I think he did an awesome job, but you know, whoever he is, um, or she, I don't know. But um, anyway, you encouraged everybody to kind of work off offline, and it ended up there was about 12 of us, I think, that started off. Something and, like that. And it ended up, you know, really bonding us together. And especially because a lot of us were newbies. We had just joined a couple months earlier and really kind of jump-started our education process on all 12 cities because to solve these, you had to learn a little bit more about them. Um, and it was great. And to this day, we're all still buds. So thanks, George. <laughs> no. Well, thanks, Six. <laughs> thanks, I, uh, you're ta oh. Talking about uh, going to places because of the hunt. I've lived in North Carolina since 1989, and I had never been to uh, Roanoke Island. I'd never been to the Wright Brothers Memorial. Um, I'd never had any reason in my mind that uh, I should go there. And then when that came out, I was like, of course, I got to check this out. And it's an amazing place. Um, I mean, <laughs> Treasure Hunter, no treasure hunt. It's an amazing place. And, and I, I will say, like, I think that's part of it is, as a local, you – take advantage or just take advantage of your immediate surroundings because you, yeah, you don't appreciate because it. they're right there because you don't right. you don't look at them as a tourist does you look at them as like well that's just yeah that's the Wright brothers memorial it's been there since whenever or that's the statue of liberty it's been there since whatever i see that every day on my drive to work or i see this and you don't take into account the fact that that's your history that's your neighborhood that's mm -hmm. what you grew up around that's what byron wants us to open our eyes to see is what's right. around you, you yeah know, i think i was 20 before i even went to the arch really and it's, it's what you do in st louis you know and I oh my god gab can i can i share the gift oh, you, you can. gave me you can <laughs> well first of all they got a new refrigerator <laughs> <laughs> and carolyn had mentioned that they needed some new magnets for this new refrigerator <laughs> So I sent them a magnet. And I'm going to I'm going to put this out to anybody live right now or anybody watching in the future. <laughs> Send Nick and Caroline a magnet of your home city. Of your hometown. And we are right. going to make an entire map on our refrigerator of all these magnets. Wait, hold on. Yeah. I'm so go get it. So, hold on. Go get yeah, so, go get your magnet. Thanks <laughs> both that new refrigerator. What's that? So George also recently got a new refrigerator. So oh, we all need magnets? to send George magnets. <laughs> Rachel was like super interested in what kind of refrigerator you guys got. Um, I don't it's no like top of the line thing. No, it's, we, shit. It's, it's shit. It's an insignia. It's shit. Um, <laughs> Those are good refrigerators. Yeah. I mean, we don't, it's just the two of us. We don't really need a whole bunch of stuff other than beer and wine and a couple of frozen products. Hey, so just <laughs> zoom in. All right, can you see it? Oh, no. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cute. That's awesome. Can you see it? It says St. Louis. That's great. So, Gab, you have to tell them the story about what the printer had emailed you. Yeah. Well, they wanted to know. It, you know, I had a typo. Nope, I don't have a typo. She's like, okay. I go, do wrong with it. Trust me on that. Oh, we I know. The company was like, we need to fix this? Yeah. Right. I'm like, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> she was like, no, no, no. It's supposed to say St. Louis. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My, Hi, um, Rachel. I'm pretty sure they're the only one in the entire world that has that magnet. I'm pretty sure. Yes, we are. Hey, George, I'll trade you an original secret book for that magnet. <laughs> oh, what a deal. I, I can figure out a way to get you that magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about She's refrigerators. Um, for more orders. <laughs> our refrigerator is one of a kind. We've had it. It's been going strong for 11 years. Um, I got it out of the break room whenever we closed one of the AT&T stores I used to manage. <laughs> It's like a junky old refrigerator, but it's like, I don't know if it's like industrial or what, but it's, uh, it's been going. It keeps for running. Time. That's good. I think yeah. That's all that matters as long as it works, man. Yeah, right? no, ours, ours worked for 16 years. Nice. Your new one will maybe just... last five. That's what I hear. I hear like new appliances like don't last at all. No. I, well, did you... arm and leg for it makes me feel old to say it, but it's like they don't make it like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that this turned into like the secret. Home appliance podcast, <laughs> right? Consumer well, opinions. Yeah. Consumer hey, we, maybe we could get some sponsors like Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, <ours>. maybe <laughs> we can get somebody to sponsor the secret podcast. Oh, Donna Our wants chef. us to add merch. Donna wants our logo on a magnet for her refrigerator. 
Ooh. Okay. Oh, there you go. Right. I will take all proceeds. Gab and I will split it. There you go. There you go. You'll, get like, you'll get like eight cents per magnet. Right. We don't make a whole lot. Oh, no. Christina says her refrigerator, her, the front of her refrigerator is not magnetic. Mine Isn't that a crime? Mine uh, what do you mean? Ours are like stickers. Only the sides are. Yeah, ours is stainless steel. It's not magnetic. <gasps> that should be illegal. <laughs> Where are you supposed my... to put the gold stars? Right? I Wait, put them what? on my shirt. They're drawings. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> oh, so I, was, oh, I was watching something today on the news. Guys, what was she doing? That's her, <laughs> her, her like fishing, magnet, fishing, her fishing magnet. For your fridge. Oh, fishing magnet. Yeah. You put the rope on it and you toss it out and see what you can drag in. You are a treasure hunter. <laughs> that seems like so much fun. Have you ever found a gun? They seem to always find guns on YouTube. Like a lawnmower no. or a car. I feel like if you're, you're going to find trash in guns. <laughs> we, we a did car. Once, but it was just like a little, you know, flip pocket watch. But I keep having to get new ones because, well, this one's good. But the last one I had, there was a screw on here and it came off and I lost the whole. No. Oh, and no. Something good on you it should, too. You should get a new magnet to find your old magnet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Such a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone was earlier and they were talking about, you know, getting together and everything, and and even when, um, oh, what was his name? Uh, Bob's brother, is that right? Tim. Tim. Tim? When Tim, and he was talking about when they first uh, found the cast and everything, how he had thrown the shovel down and like an inch of dirt came off. Even when they're talking like on Oak Island, they could be so close to it and not even know it. Just like you can probe, and if you're, whether you're this far away or you're this far away, mm -hmm. it doesn't. Matter. And I mean that could be the difference. You in know, finding a casket. Yeah. Oh, and, and to quote my favorite person in the entire world, if you miss it by an inch, you miss it by a mile. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. And I last year I grew this teeny Just tiny little watermelon whole thing, but. When I cut it open, because my brother teased me, about, he was like, "Well, why don't you taste it?" I'm like, "Well, fine, I will." So I cut it open, and it was beautiful. It was like a perfect watermelon. And I'm like, "All right, I'll taste it." So then I taste it, and it's the best watermelon I swear that I've ever had in my life. And I'm like, "This, nobody is around to share with me." And you know that part of the, you know. If I were ever to find a cask or something, you know, I'm by myself here. I got to find some people in this area that are, you know, into it so I can maybe bounce ideas off of or do something like that with. And that's something that why I originally joined uh, the Facebook group, which then led me to another Facebook group. But I didn't even know this existed. Well, darling, if you're ever eating I'm, the best I'm watermelon you've ever had feel free to call us and just let us know we'll share it with you yeah, i totally like watermelon yeah like, we'll cool. like drop up and down with you like <laughs> totally cool friends do like ever friends Talk some i do fun. like fun. this is my favorite podcast yeah. <laughs> <laughs> refrigerators so do you yeah, want to um, donna yeah. cunning the watermelon or is that a crime do i put salt so he said, "No lime." I lime, lime. Watermelon. Yeah, I, I can take that. Both are acceptable. Yeah, I've never tried that. That's interesting. One of my vegan friends showed me. I completely doubted it till I tried it. It's great. Donna wants to know if you saved the seeds from your watermelon. Mm. No, I didn't. It was only this big. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think it would have. Like, even if you had a bunch of friends around, I don't think they could have cared. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. That's Sorry. what Caroline's famous for. That that's what she said. Jokes. Yeah. That's what I'm known for. I'm gonna shut my that's camera off wait, now. No, that's what I'm known for. And then we probably no. I laughed so hard because you were like, Jesus. What do you think, Brad? Like. And I was like, you, you totally did that in my voice. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying right Me now. Me neither. 
She's the, earlier in the chat. She posted yeah. um, that uh, she was she was frustrated with me because I wasn't. No, I wasn't started. frustrated with you. And, uh, well, you know, jokingly, and she made a little post, and I read it like it was actually her saying it. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> please, please, I want I didn't hear. I want to hear your imitation. Oh, do it again. No, I, do it again, Brad. Oh no, I, I cannot do imitations on um No you can. On demand. On demand, yeah. They have to they have to just come out. I, Sorry. I think I think I, I text I actually do a really good Mickey Mouse whenever it's impromptu impromptu. So George, why don't you share a story about yeah, George. meeting up or or like <laughs> highlights for you? Bless you. Or Rachel. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was that? <laughs> like Rachel does this thing when she sneezes. It's the cutest thing in the world, but she tries to take <laughs> off. <laughs> it looked like you were taking flight. It's like her fairy wings. That's what I do. <laughs> um, I don't. What's dude? What's my favorite memory? Oh, I don't know. You have so many. I mean, so many with me, so many without me. So how would I know? Uh. <laughs> Crap! I stayed at Brian's. I stayed at Brian's in's house recently. Wow. That was really. That fun. was like last week, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was the first time. Like, we went over to his house to deliver something to him, and he's like, "Dude, just stay. I'll cook you steaks." Like, whoa, okay. Okay. He's like, okay. And, I'm right. and he loaded us down with Wii games, which was a little weird. But I don't know. So, like, all of my memories, nice, it though. was super they're, nice. They were very, super kind. Him and his wife were very nice. You accidentally stole her earrings. Accidentally. <laughs> Got us some nose back. <laughs> I, I don't know, all of so all of my like I'm lucky in that just about every other weekend somebody's asking me to meet up with them to to talk about something right like this this uh, just well, that's yesterday, right. yeah yesterday that's right, I yeah, met with you. Jim last weekend I met a guy at the library so cool. super he was super sweet he like brought me a puddle of bourbon um like i i'm super i'm lucky in that all these people reach out to me and and they want to hang out so um my my time's full of people that are really interesting and really fun to be around and they you know they make my they 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 just make the the, the hunt fun you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying so i don't really have one perfect memory i mean the the creepy dude at roanoke with me and bradley that was pretty fun um but i mean I, i've got a lot like going to milwaukee with john hardipe that but was do you have a favorite that was amazing um what about the homeless guy taking the picture of you at gallier hall in New Orleans? that was a little creepy you were that's, just that's here hold my expensive to the camera <laughs> No, the first night when we were at Gallagher Hall, we, we showed up like six hours before check-in, and you and Ray, you and Destiny had to sit on the park bench, like fall asleep in Lafayette Square uh, waiting for the hotel awful. to open. It's awful. Um, <laughs> that picture will live in infamy. That picture is yeah, the most epic thing ever. It was a good picture. It's a um, really good picture. I would say you don't have you don't have a favorite one. I think your favorite memories are outside the secret. Yeah, they all involve secret people, but not the secret. Yeah, I think you're right. Like I really like I I I think fondly back to that stupid uh, hipster music festival with with John Michaels. That was a lot of fun. With the um, banjo. Yeah, with the fucking banjo, and oh, okay. dude, it was so like so. I had to rent this car, right? I had to go to the Charleston. Truck. No, I, I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Rachel had <laughs> wrecked. Me. Rachel wrecked my car. Dude, calm I down, woman. Wrecked your car. I had. It was all of my it life. Wasn't my fault. All of my life, I've wanted a BMW, and it was okay. a beautiful BMW. It was Whatever. a five series. It was great. And Rachel was driving to work one day, and somebody a, a semi truck, like or not a semi truck, a cement truck, ran into the back of her. Oh. Which was great because it was like a work truck, and they paid me an insane amount of money for my car. But just after that, John Michaels was like, hey, come to Charleston. We're doing this music festival. And I was like, shit, I don't have a car. I'm going to have to rent one. So I went to uh, Budget or wherever. Enterprise. And I, I went to Enterprise because they pick you up. And <laughs> I, I, asked for, um, I asked for like an economy. I was like, I got to drive around downtown Charleston, and I got to haul all these people around. Because he was like, you're going to have to take the band. You're going to have to pick up the band. And the band was one person. So like, who cares? Um, <laughs> So I was like, I was like, okay, I can pick this one person up, but I got to drive through downtown Charleston and crap. I wanted an economy. So when I got there, they were like, okay, you ordered an economy, but all we have left are F two fifty Super Duties or something. Oh my god! 
much. And I was like, what? And they're like, well, we'll let you have it for the economy price. It's like, well, it's like it's four miles to the gallon. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I end up I end up driving downtown Charleston to meet John at the um at the airport in a F-250 Super Duty. Little did I know, a band of one person is not just one person. They're like 10 people, and they all have gear. So we pile all this gear into the truck, but everybody wouldn't fit, so they had to get a cab. So it's me, John Michaels, Destiny, and all of this gear in a truck going to the hotel, right? We get to the hotel, and we send Destiny inside, and me and John are unloading gear from the back of the truck. what, she was, she was like 13 then, right? She's like 15, 16. How long ago was this? I don't know. She was like 16, okay. 15, 16. Anyway, so we sit her inside, and we're all, we're unloading gear from the back of this truck into like a bellhop trolley. And there are two girls, probably in like their mid to late 20s. And you've never heard this story. Oh, um, well, you, you probably farted with the girls. So that's probably what you're uh, So, um, <laughs> so uh, they're, they're sitting on the curb next to the hotel, and they're looking at us pull guitar, guitar cases out of the back of this truck. And, and John's like, watch this. I was like, what the fuck are you? And the girls are, the girls, he, he's, he waves to the girls and they're like, hey, are you in a band? And he's like, yeah, we're in Band of Horses, which was the headliner for this like <laughs> music festival. <laughs> he's like, yeah, we're in Band of Horses. Uh, he's like, I'm the guitarist. And I was just, and they're like, like, does this work? <laughs> like, you're like 50, dude, and you're bald. Like, does this really work? And he started flirting with these two girls. And ultimately we had to go. But it, it was that was like that memory in my mind of John lying and being like, "Yeah, we're in band of horses. You want to come later?" This it's awesome. So all of my all of my stories have to do with secret people, but not not secret hunts. It's weird. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. That was a long story to get to. A no, story. it's not. No, it's that's no, it's good. I, it, uh, I mean, I I guess we had a very similar story with like Anthony Jassad, like. You know, Anthony obviously he's talking to him. So he can join Hi. Hi, yeah. Anton. Anton. Um, like, Hi, know, kiddo. We, we, we've talked to him and we, you know, we, we, we were doing all these puzzles in our groups. And, you know, one day he, you know, he's in California, we're in, in New Jersey. And he's like, oh, um, my job is sending me to, I forget what town it was. And we're like, oh, that's only like. Marlboro. an hour away from us hour and 15 minutes he's like yeah i'll be there for the weekend and we're like uh hey by the way we just rented a hotel room we'll meet you down there and we'll hang out for the night and just have drinks and i mean obviously it turned into a secret night and we had our books out and yada yada but it was like same thing like never physically met this guy before and we're just willing to stay at a hotel Till six o'clock in the morning drinking whiskey and he had to be up at seven to go to work and wound up showing up late and just got fired or whatever but <laughs> do not I'll hang say... out with us because you will wake up late for work <laughs> and if for you want to like... join bud the um the the uh room's unlocked um jordan oh, yeah. you the link back on? uh yeah i can try to do that um yeah, so and, um so when we did the san francisco meetup um, I got to hang out um, with Caroline, Nick, and Ant, um, and Ant. Uh, uh, so I do um, press pennies. My wife and I do press pennies everywhere we go. And I forgot. So to go we still there. have them for you. Oh, you guys still have some too. Well, we got them for you at uh, when we were walking through San Francisco. Remember, I got one for all of us, and I still have them. I never gave it to you. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm here. I still have it. <laughs> well aunt got one for me too um and uh he um he mailed it to me and on the envelope he wrote a little joke which is now one of my favorite jokes um and that joke is uh what do you call a large pile of kittens a meowton uh, <laughs> that's your favorite joke oh uh, it is now yeah I love, I love cats i love really bad jokes so I was very happy to have received that. Um, so I just I, I thought of something when we were talking about stories, and I I got one story that I think it's important to tell, right? If as long as you guys don't mind me going on one please. of my long little rants about George, can you just shut up already? <laughs> George. So so re recently I had to take a trip, right? I had to take a trip to Milwaukee because I wanted to go to John's funeral. I couldn't I couldn't afford I couldn't I couldn't afford to go. So one of my friends in the secret bought my plane ticket like no questions asked you just bought my plane ticket and my plan was to go 
and go to the funeral and hang out with people and then essentially sleep in a park because I was going down like the day of the funeral and coming back the morning the next morning so my plan was essentially to sleep in a park um, overnight just hang out do whatever and then go to uber back to the hotel or uber back to the, to the airport and Bradley was like no you're not doing that and then Bradley out of his own money bought a plane ticket to go to a funeral for a guy he's ne never really met he bought a hotel he rented a car just so that I wouldn't sleep Aww. overnight. That's nice. Like that's that's the kind of friends you meet because of this, right? You meet yeah. work friends, and as soon as you're done working, like, nobody cares. You know, that you, was you, really you high that's school nice. friends, whatever. Friends take care of friends, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's um, that. That's what the secret yes. brings. People like that is what the secret <clears throat> brings. And the, and the thing that like I I'm. Don't want to be negative at all, but this is what has brought all of us together, like to the point where, like, you know, we're going through some rough stuff. My mom, again, thank you guys for shouting out my mom the, the, a couple podcasts ago or you a couple of lives. Caroline is, is is she's tits. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to text her tomorrow morning and be like, Bradley called you tits. And she will probably kill, fucking die. She will probably She's die. She's awesome. No, she is. She is nice. No, she is. But Ma. Um, just even mentioning that and asking people and having people send prayers and having people send thoughts and, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff going on in our personal lives that we don't discuss on the secret pages because why would we because it's a page dedicated yeah. about a treasure you know but there's a lot of i mean especially with covid like that's besides itself but there's things that people are going on with their regular lives that we reach out to to each other and we console each other and we say i'm here if you need me i'm here whatever you need and, and that's what I think is really amazing. And the thing is, the people that have already found that, I mean, I mean, wait, who's that? That's you. No, I don't know. No, that's <laughs> wait, that's, that's, that's who's that? Christina? That's you. No, that's Christina. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you. Christina, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's what I said. Oh, yes. Okay. Christina is the, is the fourth person in the video chat, or fifth person. <laughs> right. I was. I know, but I was like, I know you, 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 <laughs> you, you. I know me, and I forgot her name. I wasn't sure yeah. what it was, so I just wanted. To, yeah. I didn't want to it's disrespect. Just Tina. Good. I didn't want to disrespect. So Tina. Okay. So, just in regards to all of you, you all know that we have your backs, Nick and I, and we know that you have our backs so and that's just an unsaid it's a, just an unspoken thing like we check in with people like it's thing like it, it's not just the hunt yeah it is a hunt i get it all of us want to get a fucking cast but until then we've made really really good friends yep oh absolutely 100 percent um donna posted she said uh, i was living in a camper when i found out about the secret you guys don't know how much you helped i just lost my house and my dogs Ooh. Um, oh so oh, man. yeah I mean, we're, we're helping people and people are helping people and we don't even realize it sometimes um right. this is this is totally unrelated to the secret uh but in high school um so after i graduated from high school i randomly got a letter in the mail like I don't know, three or four months after graduation. And I was like, what is this? I don't know this person. And I opened the letter and I read it. And it was a letter from somebody that I went to school with that I didn't really know. Um, but it was pretty much like a, it was like a thank you letter. And um, they said something to the effect of um, every time you saw me, you asked how I was and you know, smiled and just wanted to make sure I was having a good day. And that's the only thing that got me through. And like, the, and like you never know, right? That's and awesome. When you have right. an opportunity to be nice to somebody, take it. There's no reason to be mean to anybody. 
Um, this one. Yeah. Says you know, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you never know when you're when you're changing somebody's day or somebody's life. Absolutely. <laughs> right. That's why I always love Ellen. Nick always makes fun of me because I watch the Ellen show all the time. I love. And her thing is be kind to one another all the time. Mm -hmm. So like I have like hoodies. I mean, besides, I mean George. I'm sorry to say that I have other people's merch. Like my bad. Blasphemy! Look, Rachel's taking off. Banned. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> we should, we should, we should. Banned. <laughs> <laughs> we should just be, like be like, um, make it and be like be secret to each other. Or, like I don't know, you know, you always turn down my really shitty ideas for your merch. So it doesn't well, matter. half so, the I mean, ideas of that, that merch that are ours. Right back that's, into true. The quote. No, that's true. Caroline, that ties right back into the quote because you know people are always talking about like what's the secret of the secret? What's the secret of the secret? Well, it tells you right in that quote. It says if man is good and kind and playful he and she will find them that is the secret it's right. It right there it tells you what the secret is it's what we're talking about um it's, there's no mystery that is the secret of the secret right it takes absolutely nothing to be nice to, to somebody nice. to make a friend yeah you have to make an effort to be a dick yeah right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or a don't be dicks people or a <laughs> kind of i think right. it's like number one rule of the community don't be a dick <laughs> Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's the only rule of the community. Like I liked it when that was the only rule. <laughs> right. Don't That's care. it. We don't ask well, for hopefully, much. Hopefully, a lot of the new members that are joining um, won't be afraid to reach out to somebody. You know, message them if if you like something that they post or you have an idea. And you know, a lot of times you can see where people are located. You know, on their profiles, if they're close by. Reach out to them. I mean, that's how you. That's how you're gonna make friends. Yeah, and if you need help, Facebook stalking and ready. Nick is really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> he's really, he's really good at Facebook stalking people. I wouldn't call it Facebook stalking. That's what it's you just call it. if somebody sends me a request, like a friend request or a message, I do my research and find out mm -hmm. who the person is before I get into right. anything with them. If I see that we have common friends. Or that you're in a local area, I'll chat with you. And you don't if, have a rap sheet, right? <laughs> if you have no Facebook profile picture or no places to show me or places of interest, <laughs> I really have no interest in talking to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Although I will, I I will chat with a lot of people before I accept a friend request. You yeah. don't need to see everything on my Facebook feed. If you right. want to talk secret, we could talk secret. Other than Help. that. I got my friends. <laughs> How long did it take me to accept your friend request, Nick? Uh, four years. Yeah, four years. Yeah, I've only been in the secret for three. No, wait. Like, no, I'm, wait. I'm the same as Nick. Like, I don't. I have a very small group of friends on Facebook. Um, so don't take it personally if you send me a Facebook request and I um, don't respond to it. Because uh, yeah, unless I right. know you and I've conversated with you and we've had interactions. Right. <laughs> and I, I take no, no offense by that. And I funny. hope nobody else does. But if you want to chat, I yeah, I'll right. chat. That's funny, Brad, because like the one day, like, because we met up in New York and like we talk all the time, like, whatever, like, we've been on like a couple of live streams. And like one day I was like, I like looked at my phone and I was like, uh, Nick? And he was like, <laughs> what's up? I'm like, did you get a friend request from Bradley? Do you think his account got hacked? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do. And he was like, no, I got one too. And I was like, do you think it's real? And he was like, yeah. But it was so funny because I remember like even years ago, like even after we had worked on that puzzle that I wasn't talking about because I was, in the other room but the original one that george had originally made yeah and you and i we had all worked together on it and like i think i sent you like a friend request and you were like um <laughs> you were like you were like um not going there no, yeah you, you know you were like no well, we can like chat here it's totally fine if you have any questions <laughs> you could like totally ask me and we could like just like discuss the secret but like but I'm, I'm not showing you my cat picture. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're like, but I'm really, really weird about my friends on Facebook. And I was like, all right, dude. Like, 
<laughs> it's true. I'll just I'll just it's text true. you right now, like right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that also has um, like some to do with, for the most part, Caroline and I come in a pair on this. Yeah. So if you're friends with one of us, you don't need to be friends with the other because you're gonna get all of our information, or we're gonna talk about pretty much the same thing to each other that we talk to <laughs> anyone that's out there. Yeah, you're legit. Buy one, get one free here. Awesome. And I think we were talking for like two months or a month before I even knew you guys were married. So, like, <laughs> like there's oh, still a ton of people out there that don't know we're married. I think so. I think that's true. <laughs> we, you need the same last name, guys. I thought you were just no. exceptionally good roommates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except only one of us cleans. Uh, Rachel, oh, no. Rachel. Rachel has Bradley beat on the friend request thing. Like we were dating for like four years before we were friends on Facebook. It was like, <laughs> long time. She refused to add me as a friend. I was like, what the hell? Man? Yeah, but now, but like, it doesn't make sense because I'm like her number one like bestie on on Facebook and Messenger. So I don't ever post sense. on Facebook though. I'm never, I'm never, I don't post. Yeah, and all of your stuff's a lie. Like it says you live in Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Work at Winnie Junior. I hope I'm not the first person to tell you, but the day you got friended was the day you went from side chick to main chick. Uh, <laughs> that's Me? Probably true. <laughs> probably true. No, not you, Rachel. George. George went from side chick to main chick. Yeah. George is the main chick now. <laughs> I'm glad I earned that. <laughs> Excellent, excellent stuff. Well, guys, it's ten. It's almost ten thirty. Um, unless anybody else has anything they want well, to check about. Did Anthony? Did Anthony come in? Or Anthony not? didn't join. Made me all sad. We can't ever get Anthony on these things. Anthony's so he's much fun, one. and he's got. Well, has he? Time. Yeah, he's been on one for a brief moment. He was on with um, Seeds and. I want to say Cole maybe was on it. I'm not sure. Yeah, that one was a while ago. You um, were on it, Nick. Yeah. For a brief moment, I think, yeah. Yeah. Done. Look, Rachel, Donna's going to show us where the cask is so that we can get married. Nice. <laughs> I That's you sweet. Were getting married anyway. There it is. Yeah, we're going to get married. <laughs> we decided, get like, it it's been there. too long. We're just do it. Guys, I really appreciate you guys. Um, I appreciate everybody in the community. I appreciate everybody bringing positive vibes. Um, and yeah, uh, just uh, before you post something, just think, am I posting something that is helping the hunt? Am I posting something that is doing something nice for somebody? If it's not one of those two, don't post it. That's pretty cool. easy. That's pretty <laughs> easy. I can agree with that. And from a really, really, really newbie, uh, to the group, thank you all for making me feel so welcomed. I really oh, we you know, appreciated your I'm excited to hear more, uh, so more uh, magnet and more, more um, like this. Uh, metal techie stories from you. I do, I do want to hear some metal, uh, some some uh, some magnet Magnificent. stories. You gotta find a gun now. <laughs> yeah, we're addicted. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm just gonna continue on with Brad. That says like if, if people are watching, can you, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I, said, I just got it. <laughs> my daughter's here. That's why I keep muting it so that you don't have to hear all the <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. But, How um, old is she? Is she? She. <laughs> my husband and I have been married for 25 years. Oh, wow. Congrats. We have. God bless you. I'll kill him by then. Son, a 20 year old daughter. And then my husband threw me a surprise birthday party for my 40th birthday. I was so happy. Nine months later, <laughs> we have a She is eight years old. Well, well hopefully she's life. getting into the secret, she, No, she is. She is my Is she partner. into the secret? Yeah, she metal detects with me. She, um, She's actually the one who's found the most with the metal detector. She found a toonie, the Canadian $2 bill. That's nice. A, you know. That's super cool. And my, uh, Does she know who George <laughs> is? Who am Does, I? Like, well, she, I she, <laughs> she might because I watched the whole podcast when um you with uh uh John Jude. Yeah. I watched that podcast and then I watched the whole um when you guys all got together in San Francisco with uh, the reporter and that's so she might. 
Do you mind well, telling us she was Patty George? No, George, you don't want to get it. How old did you say she was? <laughs> how old is we love to do things for the kids in the community. Um, so if it's okay with you, we'd love to send her something. Yeah, just message oh message you uh, that's awesome. your name and address. Do you think they'd be okay if they sent you something? <laughs> that's oh, that's, okay. that's, that's an acceptable <laughs> response to should George and Bradley send you something. Man, I guess, right? <laughs> Who yeah. is George Ward? Like I don't know. <laughs> message us, uh, message George or myself or the podcast, um, and we'll get something in the mail for. We love to send the kids stuff. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. Oh, that's way that's awesome, awesome, you guys. No. Just but again, the, just another the, awesome I, thing I, that I, you guys I, do. I, I told you that. The oh. merch, the hat, yeah. and the shirt. One of the polo shirts. So. Oh, you got a hat and a shirt? When I my digs. Nice. So metal detecting. That's awesome. Yeah, I've I went to um I, I hear I heard a story from somebody that they got recognized yeah, um, wearing it. their their swag, and so I wear my hat everywhere mm -hmm. just to to try and run to a hunter. But I haven't been recognized quite yet, but I'm waiting for that moment. It'll happen. Merch, 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 merch. merch. I love my hoodie. Merch link in bio. <laughs> merch link in bio. Somebody's been on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, yeah. oh, did you do another you TikTok stop video, me over there. Oh, I should. I haven't done a TikTok in a while for us. I should you, do another one. You just one. did that one with your yourself as a cat. Oh, no. There's a whole, like, I did a whole series of, like, I did Bradley's books. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Yeah, yeah. You could look it, look it back up. There's a whole little series of Bradley's books on TikTok. It's really bad. Oh, but... oh my god! It's so bad. It's good. Yeah, is I guess so. Like, this like, is it's bad. Like, I think. It's like you. It's like you can't even look away because it's that bad. Maybe. I think it might be just bad. <laughs> we need an OnlyFans. <laughs> I'll leave that up to Brett. People make a lot of money off of that shit. Yeah. Well, I'll leave that up to Brett. He can do the OnlyFans. Well, we could just we could just <laughs> sell all of Rachel's expired makeup. My makeup is an extra person. person. <laughs> and then we could, and then, <laughs> I love you, girl. <laughs> and then we could just you know put up like an entire like we could campaign everything with it basically. Uh, Twelvetreasures.com. Um, if you guys are watching and you don't know about it. Phenomenal resource, um, everything you want to know about the hunt, uh, but also there's a merch link there. <laughs> Buy some merch. <laughs> Buy some merch. <laughs> merch. Can't say it enough. Merch. The hats are phenomenal. Um, the shirts. Oh, are Donna says to tell all preferably from overseas, so George has to pay for shipping. Oh, wait a minute. What Donna, did Donna say, Bradley? Donna uh, F. Cunningham wants everybody to send her a friend request. Cool. Uh, Donna, I can't promise that'll happen, but I told them. Everybody. Cool. There's a lot of people out there. Jonathan Monk says, it sounded like I said toilettreasures.com. Uh, <laughs> that, that is, not, is that domain available? I no, want you need that it. George, we need that. That's one so, place I am not digging. My, <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> so if, 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 if you're into hiking, you'll know that like you get like a trail name, and my trail name is Mumbles, uh, because apparently <laughs> I mumble a lot. <laughs> So um, Bradley, remember when we went into the um, the ET toilet in San Francisco? The space toilet? Yeah, that thing yeah. was awesome. <laughs> that was an was amazing probably, toilet. It was probably a treasure. That <laughs> we need the magnet. I know why I was in there. <laughs> what does that mean? You Waiting fit right the, in. You that, fit right in. It, the magnet will pull you to the fridge. No, I, I showed him the magnet. It's available. Dude, get it. Toilettreasures.com. <laughs> what do you have up there? A St. Louis magnet? Yeah, so buy. Tag other people into the. <laughs> She's talking about the magnet fishing. Nice. And then he Wait. started dragging more and more people. Right. Make sure she sends us a magnet then, please. I will. <laughs> that she, we my, want her to be part of our magnet fridge. My my mother's name is Caroline and my other daughter's name is Caroline, so I, I got that down. That's awesome. Magnet. Send me a link of where you buy your uh, fishing magnets so I can buy one of those. I want to go magnet fishing too now. Okay. I hope that's going to spell correctly. 
Yeah, it's true. We bought it on. Uh, well, we bought one on Wish. That one's, as I already mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I'm not. George, so, are you yeah. making St. Louis magnets? No, I've just purchased ToiletTreasures.com, and I'm making it. <laughs> yep. So by tomorrow, you will be able to go to ToiletTreasures.com as well, and it will take you to where you need to be. March, 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 March. <laughs> will you make a ToiletTreasures.com shirt, please? It will totally be ToiletTreasures.com shirt. Perfect. I will buy one of those immediately. Immediately. It's got to be in doo-doo brown now. <laughs> Oh yeah, brown T-shirt. That'd be perfect. No, can you make it in light blue, please? At least, at least brown or yellow. Right. <laughs> the first, the first ten people get a free St. Louis magnet. With <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna close it out. I appreciate everything. Does anybody else have anything else they want to say tonight? No, this was you. awesome. Nah, yeah. it was fun. You guys, you guys are amazing. Always Thank always you. Always. Love much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Happy hunting. Be safe. Have a good Come night, guys. Holes. Hey. <laughs>